<laughs> there. I've seen wolves playing. I hadn't seen dogs playing until now. Alright guys, we're back in roads. And there's apparently a stranger mission right here. And then the other one at the other end of town. So let's just see what we got going on. I won't say much, but you can't assign myself. The fuck? <laughs> I won't. What you want? You okay? <laughs> do I look okay? No, you do not. No. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and in the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Clean yourself up. My old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos. A watch. Old pistol. My ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's a north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Okay, so that was just a expositionary mission. Let's go do the other one here in town. This man, he understands. Ah, oh, it's dusty around here. I don't want to go too fast through town and people start yelling at me. The hell are you taking that board to, dude? Okay, good. Hopefully this guy over here doesn't walk away from us this time like he did the other episode. Okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But... No great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. Yeah. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Let's go get that shit back. Fuck them dudes. Are you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. Macomb's End. 
Where's that even at? Is he gonna give me a waypoint? Oh, yep. Nice. Me and old fish hook here will head out that way then. quick since we are literally right here been a minute sift through see what you like sure let me see oh, I guess I don't have a uh... oh I do okay cool you got a decent eye for these things by the looks of it hell you really want to get rid of this No questions asked. Been a pleasure doing better. Oh, you need something exclusive, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, I ain't getting anything. Alright, cool. A little more money in our pockets. Let's keep going. Man, there's a big ass fucking swamp. You see all them trees. Oh, I was like, why can't I select my weapons? I'm still in roads. I gotta say, as pretty as the game is, once I noticed that the leaves weren't uh, quite as well done as everything else, I couldn't stop noticing it. And it took me a really long time to realize that all those birds that fly out of bushes and stuff, I can shoot those things. I thought they were just like little, I don't know why I thought they were little 2D animations or something. But I did. Man, how far out they take this goddamn wagon? I suppose it's not, not too ironic that we just kind of discussed last episode. They don't touch on the issue of race too much in this game, and then almost immediately we find that all the missions that involve, involve it. It's definitely a, a subject that needs to be handled carefully, but so far I feel they've done a, a good job of, of uh, touching on it without throwing it in your face or, or overdoing it. The Rockstar's always had a, a way of writing things fairly well. Ah, uh, this must be it. And this is the place I shot there up earlier? Go. With the moonshine? We'll take the repeater. Are they gonna start shooting, or can I walk in and... Fuck with him. Who goes there? Where you got the way? I thought there'd be more of them. A nice wagon. If you done, boys, I'll go. Go through here real quick. Get some money. More stuff to sell. <clears throat> Can 
never go wrong with some free ammunition and coins. Mm, awful muddy over here for you there, buddy. Why'd you park it out here? Disgusting. Okay, come on. Get you back to the dock. Yeah, we'll just run them over. That's what they deserve. Ooh. Ow. Come on, fish hook. Oh, Arthur here's got a pretty good heart for a hardened criminal. Fish hook, don't fall behind. That's one thing I hate is if you're trying to keep the horse up with you and then there's like gunshots or something. They'll just start lollygagging and next thing you know you finish the mission and he's out of range. Time while I was just out hunting for shits and giggles between between episodes, I stole a wagon, took it to the fence, and uh, I don't even know how if he got hung up on something or what, but I got the wagon there, and the damn horse was uh, out of whistling range, so I had to figure that out. More inconvenient than anything, but all right, here's roads. Like I said, Good slow down, because otherwise I get yelled at and people jump out of the way. And it's more annoying than anything. Uh, you know this feller, don't you? Is that? Oh my. <laughs> Look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No you for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Ah, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, yeah. let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. All right. Nice. Oh, special health cure. Yero. Ginseng. And Macer Milkweed. Not bad. Alright, hold on. Let me uh, swing into the gun shop here.
why I swing into the gun shop. Because well, most most weapons so in the market for? at the time were seated in black walnut. That gun seems to be well taken care of. That could really shine with some carbon in it. There we go. Let's go for that historically it's a terrible accurate thing look. What happened to the parlor house? No surprise, the Braithwaite's were behind. Come on back when you reconsider. Let's go see what this guy's panhandling. So, hmm. Janice told yeah, me. I thought we was all about hospitality in the South. <laughs> hey, Mister, will you give me some money? Sure. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from around here. That yeah, was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. You bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, I reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's uh, so. Yeah, sure. Huh. Guess everyone's taking a side in this town. There, boy. We'll clean you off and then we'll go see old Bill. Mister, yes. I've been trapped down here. What the? F Why are you dressed up like that? <laughs> I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. Wait, please. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. What the fuck? Can I... Okay. you got to do something, please. He's never going to let me go. No. Nope. Here we go. I don't know how I'm going to do this, since I can't cause trouble. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right! Eh, pretty interesting. I got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. Oh, you, you should stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way. Oh, oh, thank God. He can't see I only do it. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy maniac put me in it. He thinks I'm his kid's son. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? Please. Please help me. He, he's got me chained up here. What in the name oh, of... Oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Huh, no one in level. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. We got here. I was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. Not much there. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. Oh, hey. I got one of these the already. Coil shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that riverbank for days. 
but I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you? You remind me of him. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It's too late for apologies. You just count yourself lucky that I don't kill you for what you did. What the fuck? Don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Let's just get out of here. is going on in this town got dudes kidnapping go got dudes kidnapping folk stealing medical wagons the foreclosing homes thing pretty normal uh, that's right I need to eat Sort of biscuits don't do anyone any good, so let's just eat some of them. Alright, now if I remember correctly, Bill. I forget who the other one is. Bill's got a mission over here, back at camp. But for the life of me, I can't remember who the other one is. I see Hosea's mission is back. Whoa! Yeah. You're a man. You're a stupid son. Open up on him. Y'all are dumb as hell. He's woke. <laughs> Pretty easy. Hey, who are you? It's Arthur. Good. You're alive. Yeah, of course I'm alive. Is that wagon always there? Wasn't. Okay there. Good boy. The bill's over here. And that means we're going on a trip. I need a word with you, Morgan. <laughs> Bill's dumber than a sack of rocks. I love it. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. Hell yeah. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. 
All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Yeah, Arthur, or not Arthur, All Uncle right. said the same thing. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss. That man. The data, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. Oh, nice What's outfit. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Follow me. Okay, so we aren't taking the wagon. What was the wagon for? Maybe it was just sitting there the whole time. I could have sworn it wasn't. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Either should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh. And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. It seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Whoa! Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. That's because well, you are an idiot. Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake. And I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through. You rob Cornwall's train. We shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. 
Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Easy! I just, for the life of me, don't understand how the... I mean, I guess with everything happening from Arthur's perspective, I don't know what the other gang members are doing that I'm not a part of. But it's easy to see how they begin to splinter at a time like this, especially, especially with Bill. It's just one of them things, I guess. Uh, Keep it down now. We're here. Although I don't remember the first game, John saying the gang really got along as well as they are. Or did. Well, I guess they still are. Um, at the beginning of this game, because, I mean, obviously by the end of it, what we know from the first game, everything goes to shit. We just don't know, don't know the how. So at some point, there's a falling out. I just... I don't know. Some nice tense music in the background. Good morning. Hello. Just three dudes in black coats. And a well-dressed woman. Okay. Nothing suspicious Let's here. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. Morning, morning. Hey, howdy, sir. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay, get ready. Okay, yeah. go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellas. decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Oh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, a lot of you. <laughs> now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Really could leave, madam. I'm not leaving. Okay, we're going. No, nah, hold on. Wait till madam. she's gotten real down. Don't act like you don't know me. Oh, stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just between us. I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn right, go. hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Go no hard up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! It's unlocked! We're good! Alright! Oh, you think oh. we're here for fun? No. Oh. 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 Open the goddamn vault! Oh. Oh. Open it! Oh. Oh. Just open the goddamn door! You got damn slow! How's it going in there? Too slowly! You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. Come on. How long of a combination is this? Son of a bitch, hurry up! Come on! Okay. Open it. You just saved yourself another beating. All good. 
I'm in. Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you oh. better be quick. <clears throat> you shut the hell up and stay still. Oh, this is fantastic. Holy shit. Hey, keep still. If I see that leg move again, you get a bullet in it. There we go. How much time do you think we got? I don't know. Not much. This is taking too long. How are you getting off? Going as fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. All right. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Please, let me go. I, I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. There we go. Come on, make it quick. Bill, how's it going there? We're getting there. A few more minutes. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. All right. Two more after this one. another one cleared this nope. is looking good how much longer nearly there okay you reckon that's enough now maybe it's never enough well i am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are oh let's get all of them one good we gotta move one the hell is it there it is There we go. Let's get out of here. I think, uh, I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody stay calm. You count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Ah, so far so good. Oh my god! Someone robbed somebody robbed the bed! 
And look, look, over there! Oh, come on, Bill. Almost out of there. Look out. You see any more of them? This shit never goes right. Where the hell are they coming from? Christ. Part where oh, are we gonna escape by train again? Come on, get across. Gotta beat that train, Morgan. All right, I think we lost. Him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. They just cut back to Horseshoe Overlook again. This is Downs. Pretty bold to stay in the area after something like that. But I guess we'll go see uh, see the Downs again. I really did like Horseshoe Overlook. Just for hunting and fishing and whatnot. Kind of nice to, instead of fishing from camp, go down to the river and throw out a line. Normally, I don't think it'd make me take this route. I wonder if it's having me do that because of the bounty on my head. Try to avoid anywhere lawmen might be. Some pretty tense music, though. Just to go talk to a widow. keep running over stuff. It's like the fourth animal I've ridden over in this uh, in this mission alone. Oh. 
All right, let's hitch up. Catch your breath, boy. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you have as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Arthur really does have a great sense Either of humor. you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the likes of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Well, it'll at least save me the run back to camp. Arthur really is an intimidating guy, though. Goddamn. Holy shit, $20,000. Holy fuck. Let's go upgrade to camp. Same age as them silly girls. Oh, oh, wait with you, silly man. Oh, no, no. Well, if I was five years younger, or oh, a thousand dollars richer, well, I'd marry you. Make a dishonest woman of you, I would. <laughs> and that'd be the best decision I ever took. <laughs> You're a fine woman. Oh, you keep it hidden under that sour vinegar face, nasty acid tongue. But I know that's just a rose's thorns. <laughs> You're a silver tongue flatterer and no mistake. Oh, no, I tell the truth, ma'am. I must get back to my work. <laughs> Fucking uncle, man. Oh, there's something about that woman. Sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. uh, you thanks. okay? Gentlemen, a moment. I just want to say thank you to Miss Karen, Bill, Lenny, Arthur. They're doing their jobs. Rest of us, uh, we should hang our heads in shame. They remembered to rob the goddamn bank in Valentine. <laughs> rest of us, rest of us are slipping. Pride. Never forget the pride in our work. You four, I salute you. Evening, Arthur. The pride, in, <laughs> the pride in our work. Good evening, Arthur. Him in that fucking opera, man.
Oh, that's right. I gotta return the debts. Duh. Let's see what we can upgrade here. I think I'll call it a day. food now. Not quite sure what the upgrade there is, but it says it was upgraded. <laughs> Where did he come from? I don't know. And he's ours, I guess. Yeah. No. Uh -huh. Wait till the That's so fun. great. Hey, boy. Mm -hmm. hey, boy. Uh -huh. What call? 450 bucks for that. Catch your death if you don't get warmer clothes. Kane. <laughs> His name is Kane. Okay. Hey, Kane. <laughs> Whoa. This is so goddamn cute. A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. We play poker? Poker? Come on, who's gonna play? Sure, sounds good. How's it going? No matter where. What the fuck are you wearing, Strauss? Hands, the same yeah. basic principles apply. I see any one of you fellers cheat, I'll take a pinky off him. The hell are my cards? Um. Ugh. Whatever, I'll call. Check. Here. I'll remember the old days, Arthur. Me, you, Hosea, Dutch, playing poker till all hours. You on Dutch's knee most of the time, from what I remember. Oh, probably. Though mostly just so he could see my cards, I'm sure. <laughs> Long time ago now. Here's this. Hmm, not much of an advance. Call. I was hoping we get little stories like that. Mm, I'll bet this. Uh, mm. She might have a queen. Here. I'm playing this real dumb, but not for me. 
Let's see what she's got. I don't bluff. Man, I got lucky. Well, next time. Yeah, that's as it should be. Come here. Clemens of Alexandria, or Clement, as you would say, was one of the early Christian philosophers. Okay, wrong crowd. You're telling me. Isn't it basically the same hand? Alright, we'll do this one. And then we'll call uh, it on this episode, because all we got left I'll is Hosea's yeah. mission. Check. I shall check. You boys playing? Hmm. You're uh, going to no. need better. All right. Hey. Good, Good enough for me. That was a fun game. I'll uh get some food in me. Where the hell's this? That's right, my tent's over here. When his sister-in-law, the, the master's wife, walks in. Now, fearing for my father's life, she told her brother-in-law to stop. Well, not only did he not stop, he beat her too. Next day, his brother, the master, shot him dead. The whole plantation cheered. The master gave my father his dead brother's watch and told him as he did so. You want to sit down, Arthur? will catch up with us all. A year later, he set them free and hanged himself the very next night. My father gave me that watch. Beautiful, big pocket watch it was. And now, I've gone and lost it fleeing black. Ain't you water. cold? When I get some spare money, I'm going to buy myself another one to honor both my father and them folks that saved his life. Huh. All right. I'm going to call it a day. Here, I picked up this. I heard you talking about losing the one your pa gave you. Well, that is mighty kind. Thank you, Arthur. Nice. All right, cool. See ya. We'll call it there. And, uh, give Arthur a shave, put him to bed, and then, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.